Namaste friends, I am your Slamath Srinivas Rao, the winner's weapon. Today we will solve 20 by 20 magic square. Many of our subscribers asked to solve 20 by 20, 22 by 20 magic squares and so on. Here I am with you, the solution of 20 by 20 magic square. So after solving 20 by 20 magic square constant by using the formula, we got the answer 4010. By using that magic constant, we can solve 20 by 20 magic square. So take 20 rows and 20 columns of table and divide it into four equal parts in this way. That means here we can get 10 by 10 magic square and here we can get 10 by 10 that means 10 rows and 10, 10 columns and so on. So divide it into four equal parts after dividing four equal parts number it it's a one the first quadrant and it is a second quadrant and it is this one is third and this is fourth and solve just by using 10 by 10 magic square formula we know already we have solved 10 by 10 magic square you can find our video the solved video in our winner's weapon youtube channel how to solve 10 by 10 magic square by using this you just simply solve 10 by 10 magic square here fill as usual the numbers whatever the uh, technique we have used you can use and to solve this first first quadrant and afterwards go for second quadrant and hereafter see here we started with one we end with hundred so that is why we can start here with one at one and here it, we can end with 200 so 100 numbers we can fill here the say in second quadrant from one at one to 200 and thereafter you can go for third quadrant from two not to fill from two not one to 300 numbers and similarly by applying by applying the technique of 10 by 10 magic square you can fill the fourth quadrant also after completion of this you can find the sum of all columns got 4010 sum of all columns got 4010 that is equivalent to the magic constant so we need not to change any column to get required magic constants already we got the magic constant but here after summation of all the rows we got the top 10 rows got 3010 the bottom 10 rows got 5010 so it is thousand more and it is thousand less so that is why the thousand the sum of thousand should be transferred from bottom two parts to top two parts that is from second and third part to first and second and fourth part to first and third part so how we can solve you look at this consider this total block this total block and exchange this with this total block but simply here we have to use not simple exchange we have to use a mirror exchange that means when we fold if it is a paper consider it as a paper when we fold along this line this paper and that that means all the top column will come under here that as a bottom column and similarly here the second one the second all the top row sorry all the top row whatever 67 74 51 etc up to 290 this row will come here as a bottom line and similarly the second row from top will be second row from bottom this is called a mirror exchange so how we have to do simple this one this 336 if we consider this 336 343 and 350 will go up as a first row and similarly this second row will become second row from top and this third row from bottom will become third row from top etc this 361 will simply sorry this 367 and 374 will simply go to this bottom of the 
this total block this is called a mirror exchange and whatever the numbers here and these are also can be come down in the same way how see here we got here the 36 what we got here 36 and 43 were there already you can go back you can check and all the bottom parts of these two blocks will come here as a top part and this is called a mirror exchange when we after consideration of mirror exchange after doing a mirror exchange after completion of mirror exchange you can find the summation of all the rows that becomes 4010 so we didn't disturb any column so the sum magic constant 4010 remains same the remaining rows only the sum of rows only changed that is this 3010 became 4010 and here whatever the numbers 5010 became 4010 if we consider the sum of all diagonals also sum of all diagonals also got 4010 so that is why we need not to exchange furthermore so we got 4010 magic constant through diagonals two of the diagonals and all the rows and all the columns so that's all for today thank you so much yours lammata srinivas rao signing off please subscribe our channel thank you so much